Okay, so good afternoon and welcome to this afternoon's National Public Service Week um, recognition and appreciation event. Uh, so welcome to everyone who's um, dialed in or who's on video. So my name is Lisette Savant and, and I am the NMC Regional Lead for the Prairies and Northwest Territories. So please note that this event is being recorded and a YouTube link will be posted on the various NMC social media accounts. So um, also because of bandwidth, it's possible that the speaker may lose his connection and disappear from the screen. So if it does happen, just hang tight. Uh, please let the system reconnect. I think we've gone through all sorts of different scenarios throughout the, the past couple of years with with uh, MS Teams, so I think we're all familiar with this. Um, and also just a reminder to keep your um, microphones on mute and to turn off your videos. Um, and so then let's get started. So this event is one of the many ways that the NMC brings together over 40,000 managers and aspiring managers all across the country. Um, and these learning days cover a variety of topics that are important to you. So before starting, I would like to acknowledge that I'm located in Winnipeg and I'm um, in Treaty 1 territory and the land on which I gather is the traditional territory of the Anishinaabe, Cree, Oji Cree, Dakota and Dene people et la patrie de la nation métis. I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the territory in which you find yourself. La discussion aujourd'hui se, se tiendra um, dans les deux lang langues officielles, donc soyez à l'aise d'utiliser votre langue de préférence. Nous tenons à créer un climat de sécurité linguistique, alors vous pouvez choisir d'utiliser votre deuxième langue officielle, si c'est votre préférence aujourd'hui. So feel free to ask your question using the official language of your choice um, in an atmosphere of linguistic security. So that can be your first or your, your second official language. So um, before we start off today's presentation, uh, let's start off by using um, WooClap, which is the tool, the polling tool that we're going to be using today. Um, so I'll just ask um, Stefan to display. Okay, perfect. And so um, you can scan the QR code that's on the screen. And that will bring you to the uh, WooClap, or you can use that um, www.wooclap.com. Okay. So um, as you're logging in, um, Stefan, I'm just going to start sharing my screen. I'll, I'll remove mine. Yes. Go for it. Okay. So there we go. Okay. So here are the words that are coming up. So great, excited, super, love it. Energized, calm before the storm. Oh dear. <laughs> Super, okay, great, excited. Okay. Awesome, okay, so it looks like um, everyone's able to use this, so that's great. Love it. <laughs> it's so much fun to see these words kind of go across the screen. Okay, so I'm just going to stop sharing this screen for now. Um, and we'll get back to it um, in a few moments. So I'm glad it's working for everyone. That's good. So here's what's on the menu for this afternoon. So we'll start off with a recognition presentation um, that um, Cheryl Berenicki, our champion, will be um, hosting for us. And then um, we'll hear from Stéphane Tourangeau, who will st uh, speak about the languages of appreciation and how to recognize our teams. And of course, we just kind of had this um, test with the WooClap app <laughs> and, um, 
And so then um, just stay logged into that because we'll have a couple more questions using that, um, that app uh, for you to, um, to answer questions here and there. So um, we will also be sharing some tools at the very end. Um, so I'll be showing those, but uh, don't worry if uh, you don't get a chance to see them. Uh, I will be sending them out to everyone who's uh, registered for this event. So uh, we will briefly look at them and you will get a copy of them for you to use um, to reference after this session. So without further delay, please allow me to introduce Cheryl Berenicki, the Prairie Federal Council Champion for the NMC. And uh, she's going to be um, kicking us off with this event. Thank you. Merci beaucoup, Elizabeth, and welcome everybody. Bienvenue tout le monde for today's uh, recognition and appreciation event for our Prairie and NWT region. Um, really a true privilege today to um, to uh, work with Elizabeth and, and our teams to bring this event to you to today. Um, we're a week after National Public Service Week, but this is our National Public Service Week event, so we can think of it as a uh, a happy little carryover from last week because I'm I'm hoping each of you had a wonderful time celebrating with your colleagues in your various departments and uh, given uh, just how busy everything was we thought carving out a little space for our managers network this week uh, would be a nice nice way to connect prior to the to the summer um, before we get to our presentation though we wanted to actually take a few minutes just to recognize the contribution of a number of individuals whose involvement has just been um, just truly phenomenal and appreciated and we would just really be remiss without recognizing our national managers community uh, members and colleagues um, that really make this network happen here in Prairies and NWT and given that this event is about uh, recognition and appreciation we'd really be remiss if we didn't uh, take a few moments to to talk about the work that happens truly on the corner of the desk on top of the pile on top of everything else and uh, it's really super super important so I'm just going to run through and recognize um, a, a small list of people here that um, were, were nominated for a few different uh, few different contributions that they make to our community. So first and foremost, I've got uh, Christine Hill, and I'd like to thank you today for taking time you're busy out of your busy schedule to support and guide um, everything that we do um, over through the NMC, and in particular. Um, <laughs> Uh, and Anita had made the comment that, you know, you say things like, Anita, you got this. You're, you're truly a great mentor and you've been a great friend um, for your colleagues here in the NMC and they really do appreciate everything that you do. So thank you, Christine. I'd also like to acknowledge Nadia Rahal and both uh, Anita and Ada have only known you for a short period of time, but they both want to thank you from the bottom of their hearts for keeping them on track and letting them know what's what's truly important and keeping the committee together uh, with the various notes and reminders and just making sure that the committee is successful. So you're our two newbie uh, co-chairs here in Alberta, Anita and Ada, really want to, to thank you and acknowledge um, your efforts. Um, coming from Tammy, I wanted to recognize Melissa Parapelkin, of course, and uh, and uh, Melissa had stepped forward to co-chair as the Saskatchewan NMC uh, co-chair and had voluntarily taken on that task of managing the various uh, emails and documents and all the things that are needed to keep that committee running. And she just does such a great job ensuring the distribution lists are accurate and everything is just connected and through GC Connects, GC Collab and all that information is is um, is valuable and very informative to keep that committee running. So thank you so much, uh, Melissa for the incredible role that you do and value that you provide as the co-chair there. Um, and next on the list, I'd like to acknowledge Elaine Krichenko. Um, of course, as a previous regional coordinator prior to Elizabeth, Elaine contributed significantly to um, Saskatchewan NMC revitalization. And Elaine has continued to promote and participate in the meetings and continued to engage with NMC and continues to provide um, really amazing support to the network and promotes the network and believes in, in the value of this network um, in Saskatchewan and abroad. So thank you, Elaine, for your contributions. Um, next, I'd like to acknowledge Richard Landry, who's been a great supporter of the NMC 
and um, in particular recently organized an event um, on how managers should deal with employee mental health and volunteers to take minutes uh, of the Manitoba NMC meetings. My computer froze there. So thank you so much, Richard, for your contributions. Um, we'd also like to acknowledge Daryl Biswetherick and your contribution as the Manitoba Steering Committee Chair for I think it's three plus years at least. I think it's uh, it's been long, long in the tooth, but it's been certainly well appreciated and that you've contributed and organized a number of regional events, including mental health for managers, as well as making sure that the meetings continue to be held during the pandemic, which has uh, been working really well to keep the committee going and on track. Um, you've also stepped up on a regional level as a volunteer for the Prairie Federal Council Career Marketplace. And uh, of course, we had our Courageous Conversation events and you're just always willing to help out and your contribution as, as co-chair has been greatly appreciated. And uh, it's your, your successor uh, will have big shoes to fill, I think is the comment there. So a big thank you to all of these managers who um, really do take time out of their busy days. So we've got, again, volunteer co-chairs and volunteer NMC steering committee members and just want to thank each and every one of you um, and, and Elizabeth, you too. Um, you prepared these speaking notes, but uh, you know, probably wouldn't have put this in yourself, but just want to thank you. It's been a, a great run since you've come on board and I know you're working really hard to support everybody and keep the network uh, alive and moving as we've adapted to this new environment. So, um, the intention today was to have a really snappy um, presentation and just really, you know, talk about recognition. So I'm going to stop there in the interest of time and just pass it back to you, Elizabeth, and uh, to get us going with our guest speaker today. So over to you. Thank you. Okay, so um, before we turn it over to Stefan, I'm just going to share another woo clap. Woo clap. My goodness, this is kind of a hard thing to say here. <laughs> lab question. Um, so uh, just hang tight for a moment. I will share my screen. Okay, so let's go to the next question. So the question is, how do you like to be recognized at work? So I'll give it a few moments for you to put in your answers. Lovely, okay, so thank you, a simple thank you in person, phone call, informally, praise, acknowledgement. Okay, they're just going crazy, I can't read them all at the same time. <laughs> Amazing, okay, this is great. Okay, so we're just going to pause it there. Um, we have all sorts of lovely answers coming in. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen for now. And um, I, this is a great segue into uh, what we're going to be talking about next. So for today's session, we're going to be talking about the languages of ap appreciation with our special guest, Stéphane Tourangeau, who is a senior advisor on learning at Measurement Canada. And I'd have to say that maybe he's an honorary NMC member by now because I think this is his third presentation with us. Um, so there should be probably some kind of special place for Stefan at the NMC by now. <laughs> so Stefan is a near uh, 30 year career public servant who has spent the majority of his career in learning and development, employee engagement, public service wide collaboration, digital communications and di digital service delivery. Pour n'en nommer que quelques-uns, il a dirigé et participé à plusieurs initiatives importantes à l'échelle de la fonction publique, telles que la mise en œuvre de la stratégie d'engagement numérique pour le lancement d'Objectif 2020 en juin 2013, la gestion du renforcement de la capacité pour la nouvelle équipe du service numérique canadien, et il a été une voix forte et encourageante pour l'utilisation des médias sociaux et des outils de collaboration GC 2.0 pour le gouvernement du Canada. Stéphane provides team building workshops and is accredited in Insights Discovery, Everything Disc, and Languages of Appreciation, Psychometric Tools, helping in individuals understand our personality styles and how in teams we can work better together. Donc, Stéphane, um, à toi la parole. 
Merci beaucoup, Elizabeth, uh, Cheryl, colleagues. Uh, thank you so very much. Um, I like the fact that you're calling me an honorary member. I've been uh, actually involved with the National Managers Community since, I've got to say, back to about 2005 when I used to work at the Canada Public Service Agency, or for those who know, Public Service Human Resources Management Agency of Canada, whew, which were actually housed at, at the, that organization back then. So I've been involved with MNC for quite a while. So thank you very much for your invitation. Um, this is the third time that that you've invited me or NMC has invited me to talk about the languages of appreciation. Uh, and I appreciate that you're calling me back to come and talk to you about uh, uh, this topic, which is uh, quite near and dear to my heart because bottom line, the most important resource in the public service is the people. Um, and, you know, there's a difference between recognition and appreciation. Recognition is a little bit more formal, but appreciation is something that can be offered or given quite regularly. So I know there's not a lot of time for this presentation, but um, I do want to say uh, if you have any questions whatsoever after this presentation, I'd be more than happy to uh, to have a chat with you and, and see how we can go forward. So um, in a nutshell, what I'm going to be talking to you about today is uh, the languages of appreciation in the workplace. And this is basically um, some of the work that's been done uh, by Dr. Gary Chapman, I believe, and Paul White. Um, you can look it up on Google, Languages of Appreciation. You can become accredited. Uh, there's books about it. There's a lot of information, but bottom line, it's quite simple. Um, let's find out what, what I'm going to try to give you today is the tools in order to find out the languages of appreciation. Now, one thing's for certain, not everybody wants to be appreciated the same way. Just saw the woo clap. Um, sorry, you're going to see me go from one screen. I got three screens going on here, so it's presentation galore. It's not that I don't want to post attention, but um, so there's there's different languages of appreciation. and Not everyone wants to be appreciated the same way. Um, there's the introverts, the extroverts. Some people like to um, be called out. Some people just we want the simple high five, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But before I actually get into the content, I want to give you guys high fives. Um, managers in the Prairie and North, Northwestern region, that's it. Um, I want to congratulate you for all the acrobatics that you've done within the past year or since the pandemic has started. It's not easy um, trying to uh, manage teams that are probably at a distance or you know to show appreciation to your teams. And hopefully these tips will uh, help you out today. So why is appreciation needed in the workplace? Well, for one, um, if I feel that I'm appreciated as an employee, I'm going to want to give 100% or 150% of, of my performance. Uh, and appreciation, again, can be in different forms, um, but it's it's just you know a quick acknowledgement of, of either a great work that somebody has done on a certain task, a uh, quick acknowledgement on, on, you know, somebody going out of their way um so somebody showing that you know um you know you've done a good job so thank you so very much for, for for what you've done and you know it helps me as an individual when i'm appreciated it helps me understand um that you know i'm valued at work people appreciate the work that i'm doing um i'm learning from others others are learning from me and it just improves the morale overall so Couple of tips, appreciation in the workplace, cues that appreciation is needed. And again, everybody has a different management style. It all depends on what your style is, but some cues is, you know, when your employees are discouraged, um, you, you're not getting a lot, of, uh, a lot of optimism from your employees, you get irritability and resistance. Some of you might go through that. Um, absenteeism or tardiness, cynicism and, and sarcasm, apath apathy and passivity. Um, those are some of the cues that you need to start either one, read the book about the languages of appreciation or try to implement some sense of appreciation. When I mention um, everybody has a different mode of being appreciated, let's jump straight into the five languages. So you're going to find these might maybe you might find a couple of these a bit weird, but I will explain. So the five languages of appreciation are one words of affirmation. These are words that I can either be said into as Cheryl just did. She acknowledged and recognized people uh, for the work that these people have done. 
that's one type of uh, language. Could also be done written. Um, for me personally, it's not like I'm just doing my job and you know, I love so much what I'm doing that for me, it's not really work. Um, it's it's when you're having fun, it's an opportunity to 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 be engaged and to help people and to show my skills and learn new skills. The other one is quality time. This is an important one where, for example, if an employee of mine has um, has done something, went out of their way and I want to show appreciation for them, then what I'll do is I'll spend quality time either by coaching, mentoring or, you know, uh, working with the person to have a little coffee or take him out for for dinner, lunch or whatsoever. So that's that's the other language. Then you've got acts of service. An acts of service could be, um, well, look, um, I'll give you the example of an ADM I used to work for back at Pusher Mac when I used to work there. Um, the so for some of you, you've probably worked in um, in a cabinet office or an office of an ADM or an office of a DG or something like that. When a new minister or deputy minister comes in to play, um, you've got binders to create and binders about issues. Yes, I see Cheryl going acknowledging I've done binders. Um, so this ADM, for example, showed appreciation to his employees. We worked our butt off for the new minister and deputy minister that was actually changing all at the same time. So it was like uh, a binder bonanza and we worked our, our butts off to, to, to create these binders. And the last day, it was just a question of printing them off. And the ADM uh, said to all of his team members, you guys go home, you've done enough. He rolled up his sleeve and spent the next five hours just at the photocopy machine uh, creating these binders. So that's an acts of service. Then you've got the all famous tangible gifts. And these are gifts which could be either a virtual bouquet, uh, a real bouquet. Uh, it could be iBoutique. Um, you know, some of you are, are quite keen in using iBoutiques um, or, or use it regularly. Other people use different other means. But tangible, tangible gifts is, is that other one. And then the other one, which is physical touch. Whoa, what does that mean? Um, so physical touch could be in the form of a high five. It could also be in the form of a handshake. Um, and then I'd leave it at that because we are also bound by the public service values and ethics for the public service. So we need to respect other people and whatnot. But for me personally, I'll tell you, like you'll probably identify yourself in one of these five languages. For me personally, just giving a high five to someone is a perfect thing. And the example that I've given, some of you have probably seen this presentation that I've presented to um, back in October, I believe. Um, and I'm repeating myself a little bit here, but I used to be uh, chair of a change network for the public service uh, at the Pusher Mac Agency or Canada Public Service Agency. And the DM, essentially my role was to um, speak to people and trying to uh, create change uh, or a change management agenda for the organization. And the DM back then asked me, um, OK, how can we make a difference in our organization? I said, just acknowledge people, just freak people out. When you get into an elevator and you see somebody that you've worked with before, acknowledge them, say hi. You want to freak them out even more? Walk into a corridor and give them high fives for the great work that they've done. So for me, that is kind of the most appreciated way. So. How much time do I have left, Elizabeth? And do we have time for questions? Yeah, we can take a few questions if you like. Yeah. OK, um, and we've got what about five minutes left? Five minutes, yeah. OK, um, so physical touch is another one. So um, these are the five languages, but it's important to note that not everybody likes to be appreciated the same way. So for you as a manager, what's important is to have that conversation with your employees. And this could be done you know, when you're doing your performance management agreement. Talk to them and say, look, I want to be able to acknowledge the great work that you're doing. Um, how do you like to be appreciated? Most of them will probably say words of affirmation, as we saw in the woo clap. Um, just just a quick hello, uh, a very timely hello, timely. That's a very important thing. Um, you know, being appreciated for something I did eight months ago kind of loses its flavor. But if I've done an act of service or if I've done something that that's appreciated, it'd be great if you 
you were on the ball and and give that appreciation to your employees as much as possible. So um, if you have any questions, I'd say shoot it in the chat and we could probably answer them. So, okay, well, there we go, Elizabeth, you're on the ball. Um, so there's there's um, this language of appreciation is something that I've I've been teaching for quite a while. Um, again, it's uh, you could be accredited for it, but if you go look on the five languages of appreciation website, you do have um, a, an assessment tool that's available to you. I think the cost is about fifteen dollars, but you could per per assessment. You could submit that to your employees uh, and ask them, you know, what is the preferred uh, method of appreciation that and using other psychometric tools such as insights discovery or uh, even everything disk are important tools to be able to understand your employees. And hence what I just mentioned, understanding your employees. If you want to get the best out of your employees as a manager, take that time to talk to them and understand how they want to be appreciated, understand what is their style and profile. Um, you know, with the insights discovery and, and everything this, everybody has a different style, right? For, for I'm not sure how many of you have, have taken these psychometric tools before, uh, but I highly encourage that you, you hire someone to do workshops for your teams because, um, you know, administering this, you get to understand the type of people. For those who've done insights before, you've got the we're a combination of the four different color energies. Um, and those tools for me has allowed me to improve the relationships uh, with the people that I work with. Um, so it's important to take the time and understand your employees, uh, understand what is their styles, uh, how they work. Um, you know, some people have, you know, strengths, some people have weaknesses, understand their strengths. Uh, use them where you can, apply them where you can. Some people have weaknesses, work with them to try to maybe set them on the right path to 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 improve their weaknesses. And uh, yeah, so take the time to work with your employees. We have questions. I'd like to reflect and send a simple email end of day of someone who did something noteworthy, even small stuff like raise a good point in a meeting that keep conversation added. Perfect, PMA write up time, easier with examples to go back to. Cheryl, that's perfect. It's it's a it's it's a great approach to do this. Other people use a different approach that I've seen, um, which is uh, they have the daily stand up meetings. Some people have them really, really, really early. That's not my thing, but you know, just be cognizant that you know it's not easy for 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 being in this pandemic and doing workplace uh, this this virtual environment. It's not easy for you, but it's also not easy for everyone. So just be cognizant of that. That's my parentheses. A quick phone call to say hi, see how they're doing. Yes, that's a great way to do it. I've got a team. Um, so in my organization, I'm more on the learning side and I've got a team that I work with across the country where we develop learning, but we also you know, use our Moodle platform. And I've created an MS Teams uh, grouping just for that. And I constantly send appreciation to the people that I work with, like saying, you delivered this course, this was awesome, you did a super good job, this was great. Um, so an MS Teams group is also another way of doing it. Um, you use kudo boards. I haven't heard that before. I am sold on that. Thank you, Vanessa, for sharing that. If you have any other ideas or suggestions, even post uh, presentation here, I highly recommend that you put it uh, in this chat so we can get access to this and, uh, and share it amongst ourselves. So in a nutshell, this is it. It's a, it's a small 15 minutes. I was wondering how I could structure this to make sense, but hopefully it made sense to you. Again, if I can leave you with some parting words, um, and I'm repeating myself here, everybody wants to be appreciated a different way. Take the time to understand your employees. Take this time to understand how they want to be appreciated and adapt yourself to that. Um, of course, if you've got teams of 50 people, hopefully you've got supervisors. Um, supervisors can assist you in, in instilling this, this uh, environment of appreciation within the workplace. 
um, but take the time to, 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 to get to know your employees and get to know how they want to be appreciated and understand their styles as well. If you want to know more about insights or appreciate languages of appreciation or even everything this, by all means, uh, Stéphane Arturangeau at Canada.ca, I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. Thank you for the invite. Thank you so much, Stéphane. Um, so I will be sharing some of your resources because I know that um, you have, you've mentioned quite a few of them. Uh, so in the email to participants, I'll share uh, the information and the, the links and resources that you talked about today. So perfect. perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, see. Okay. So let's go back to WooClap. Uh, so let me just share my screen and let's do another question. Okay, so the question is, hold on, I don't think I'm sharing just yet. Okay, so uh, what is one strategy that you will use to recognize your team? So I see quality time, time off, gifts. I boutique. Quality time, homemade certificates, MS Teams, e cards, gifts. Verbal recognition. Yeah, Elizabeth, if I can add, e cards have been quite popular with the uh, since people have been teleworking. Um, you know, some, somebody's retiring or somebody is yes. at home recuperating. We've all we've all seen e cards. It's also a great way for appreciation. Um, so, yeah. yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, we had people celebrate big milestone birthdays, and so we sent them e cards as well. Because uh, yeah, it's hard to have a birthday in the middle of a pandemic, especially if it's a a big milestone. Lovely. Okay, Yammer, MS Teams, physical cards break award nominations oh that's great yammer coffee asking them that's good public acknowledgement team games wonderful great ideas here okay so i will just stop sharing the screen um for a moment okay so um so we looked at uh the different ways to uh, are the different gifts of appreciation. And so now uh, what I'd like to share are a couple of uh, tools that the NMC has de uh, developed. And again, these tools will be sent to you um, after this session in an email to all participants. Um, so a couple of tools that we have are, um, let me just open it up. And so one of them is, um, 10 ways to, or 10 ideas to uh, celebrate and appreciate teams. Now, let me just zoom in on, a, on this a little bit. And so this, um, oops, sorry, now we're missing the top part. Um, so this was uh, originally kind of an in-person thing, um, but we adapted it so that we could <laughs> make it COVID friendly. So we have organized a virtual discovery walk. Uh, so it's a fun way to connect as a team. Um, and to create new adventures, hold a virtual potluck if you can, um, and uh, invite people to share and demo how they prepare their favorite recipes. Uh, use, use the virtual praise badges in MS Teams to recognize team wins, um, both personal and professional accomplishments. Um, and so you'll find those, there's, uh, they're on the bottom of your MS Teams chat. You can, you can add those to the chat, which is kind of fun. Um, hold an online lunch and learn for individuals to showcase their talents and passions. Ask your team how they want to be appreciated. Um, so again, like Stefan was saying, some people like private words of appreciation. Other people like more public appreciation. And excuse me, let me just go out onto the next one. 
Okay. Uh, send a handwritten note or e-card for employees to write a personal note of appreciation. Um, have a fun meeting that's not about work where team members can share about things that matter to them outside work um, with team building objectives. Um, you know, rolling up your sleeves and offering to lend a hand to team members to show how you care and demonstrate your commitment. So again, something, you know, the example that Stefan shared with his ADM. Um, be specific, genuine, timely with praise and appreciation and notice the, the difference it makes for the level of an individual and team engagement. And celebrate more often, make celebration a regular part of the office culture. So these, um, so these are going to be shared with you. And then we have um, another toolbox here. Um, so again, these are kind of a recap of the five languages of appreciation. So we have physical, quality time, words of affirmation, acts of service. Uh, I think these are pronounced gifts. <laughs> uh, physical, quality time, words of affirmation, acts of service. So there's all sorts of examples here. Um, so all of these tools are going to be shared with you following this presentation. Um, so these will give you a few more ideas um, in terms of how to appreciate, appreciate and recognize your teams in, in all sorts of different ways. So on that note, I will turn it back to Cheryl for our closing remarks. Great, thank you so much, Lisbeth, and, and merci beaucoup, Stéphane, for your presentation today as well, and joining our our group and uh, for a, a speed a speed round conversation um, on recognition. And as you've highlighted, there's you know recognition is just so tremendously important. It leads to just such high engagement, and um, everyone wants to feel like they're contributing. So, I think uh, in the, on the heels of National Public Service Week, and this is a year-long thing, I think um, you've given us some really great ideas and reflections today. And uh, those tips and tricks that will be sent out to everybody are meant to be, you know, quick things that you can do and do with your teams now to further support and recognize your teams. Um, so on that note, I just want to, again, recognize all of our hardworking uh, NMC members that helped put this event together and Stefan for joining us today for the presentation. And each of you as part of the managers community and the work that you're doing with your teams, I just want to acknowledge, uh, we really appreciate each and every one of you that you do within the public service and your teams. I'm sure appreciate everything that you're doing with them. And uh, a little bit of self-care too, you know, recognize the hard work you're doing and we're, we're on the heels uh, right uh, heading into summer. So do make sure you take good care of yourself and take you know, as part of that uh, quality time perspective, you know, definitely take time for yourself as some, some self-recognition as well, which I think is well learned. People have been working really hard and I do hope you take time and enjoy enjoy the summer that's ahead. So big thank you to everybody. Um, the NMC is is planning and scheming and, and thinking of all kinds of things that we're going to do together uh, when we reconvene in the fall for more events. And uh, just there you have it. We wanted today to be light and uh, just a nice check-in chance to say hello. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful summer. Bon après-midi et bon weekend. And uh, just wishing you, uh, for those celebrating Saint Jean Baptiste Day, them out. It's a good uh, good holiday starting tomorrow and just wish you all the very best for the summer. So take good care and uh, we hope to see you all soon at a, at a future NMC event. Go Habs go. Ah yes go Habs go there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally fair. <laughs> all right on.